Yeah, Paul the Pipe Guy here. Yeah, so today, today is 12-31-2023. So if you write the date down, it's 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 12, 1, 2, 31, 3, 1, 23, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. We're going to be smoking um, some Cornell and Deal Black Frigate. Oh, yeah. The tin date on this is... 2-15-2021, so it's just shy of two years old, and it's got Latakia and Turkish are added to our blockade runner Navy Cavendish, uh, Virginia soaked and aged in rum to produce a true Royal Navy blend, pressed and cut into old-fashioned crumble cakes, and I got my favorite hat on. Yeah. And uh, open the tin on 719 of 2021. Threw it right in there. And it smells unbelievable. I can smell that rum. Oh, yeah. It's good. And we have a, uh, a BBB. Look at that little silver medallion. It says BBB. And the briar on this is like, almost looks like a tiger. The briar is perfect. It's uh, made in London, England. Bowl number 506. But look at that briar. Oh, yeah, she's beautiful. Love my Canadian pipes. Let's set it on fire. Mm. Oh, man. Latakia rich with rum. It doesn't get any better than that for me. Wow, man, don't even need to do a char light. And this stuff's a bit moist, too. Mm -hmm. You know, you'll, you often think, you know, who owned that pipe? Actually, I think I did date this one back, and I think it dates back to 1870. If I have the right pipe, I believe this one was made in 1870. Can you imagine that? 153 years old? Man. Two thousand twenty-four. I don't uh, make any resolutions. I make goals. I don't believe in resolutions, but I do believe in goals. They're short-term goals, like okay, I want to clean my truck out this weekend. Okay, there's <clears throat> a little bit longer term goals. Okay, uh, I want to accomplish this within six months. And you write it down. If you don't write your goals down, they're just dreams. Write them down. Mm-hmm.
put a little road map on how you're going to get there. For instance, a, a real simple thing would be, <clears throat> okay, I want to save X number of dollars by next year in a separate account. You figure out your budget, blah, 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 blah. Then you figure, okay, I'm going to need to save this amount per month. I know what my budget and my expenses are. I know what my net paycheck is. Uh, I may have to sacrifice this or maybe sacrifice something else in order to obtain that goal. That's what it's all about. And if you stick to it and write it down, you'll achieve it. I remember uh, a church that I was going to back as a teenager, and they wanted to put an addition on the church, and they had it right up there. Uh <clears throat> You know how much was saved and what the goal was and everything and every week on Sunday the pastor would get up there and he'd be like look here's where we're at right now we're either fallen behind or we're a little ahead of schedule or whatever he'd give a total you know synopsis of it a report And it's funny, the church that I actually went to was uh, a Mormon church until I was 17. And the staff, they don't call them a pastor, they call them a bishop for each different, <clears throat> you know, building. And that staff is not paid. They, they don't accept any payment. They work their own jobs, and then they just do what they got to do. Had my own reasons for leaving the church, which I won't get into. They're very good people, Mormon people. Oh, yeah. This BBB pipe smokes. All my Canadian pipes smoke so good and smooth. So, uh, <clears throat> one of my good friends was trying to instruct me on what's called retrohaling which is kind of like this. You don't inhale it all the way into your lungs just enough to blow it out your nose. And <clears throat> I'm trying to get the feel for that because after four and a half years of pipe smoking, <laughs> <coughs> having never done that, it's different for me. Kind of stings my nose a bit. I suppose it's uh, whatever kind of blend you're smoking. We're going to take a break. We'll be back in a nanosecond. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so we're back. I have some. 
Watch City Church Warden from 2021. I'm smoking it in my Mr. Brog number 14 church warden pipe. This is the only blend that I smoke in this pipe. Gosh. Mm. A couple years old. Man, I gotta show you this stuff. It's like, mm, it smokes like butter. I'm telling you. This is some church warden here. Get a nice big piece out there. Look at that, man. Oh, yeah. It's nice, it's moist. And I'm a freak about writing dates down. I do have, um, well, I wasn't going to say anything, but I will. Uh, I do have a special pipe that uh, I purchased eh, maybe about three years ago or so. And I can only think of one guy to send it to. I'm not going to say who or what kind of pipe. Somebody's going to get a surprise. A nice one. Somebody going to get a real nice surprise. A pipe from Paul the Pipe Guy. Mm -hmm. No giveaway. I already know who I want to send it to. Piece of subscriber. Two and a half year old. That's probably close to three years old. Church warden. Just keeps getting better. Be back in a nanosecond. Mm. Love this church warden tobacco. Think, I don't think I like that retro smoke where you blow it out of your nose. Mm -mm. Well, somebody's going to get a damn good pipe. We got this pipe 
was uh, part of a package deal and well, I'm going to say no more. I'm going to write a letter to the new owner and explain myself. Well, Happy New Year. Two thousand twenty four is uh I think gonna be a year that's gonna be a turning point for the United States of America. For good or for bad, I don't know. I'm just praying. Over now. Oh, I got to show you something. Yeah, so my buddy Greg, the tunnel take, he likes to show off his firearms. And uh, a few months, uh, a few months ago, I bought a a new rifle for long range shooting. It's chambered in six point five Creedmoor, and here she is. Look at that stainless steel bolt action rifle accu trigger you can trim down to about 1.5 pounds and it's got uh, a vortex I think the it's a venom I don't know venom yeah I think it's a venom scope I don't know it's five by it's like the Hubble telescope it's five by 25 by 56 yeah she shoots nice listen to this no trigger creep nothing yeah there we go so I put these little, uh, they're called snap caps in there, and what they do is they help you with your trigger pull. And, uh, you know, I don't know. <laughs> uh, that'll kill a deer at one mile in the right hands. Yeah. Anybody know how to decock a bolt action rifle without firing it? It's simple. Most people on a bolt action rifle, they don't know how to do this. So they go like that and then they dry fire it, which is not good for the rifle. It's simple. You decock the bolt all the way. You pull the trigger all the way in. And then you act as though you're chambering around, and guess what? It's decocked. Anyways, see you later, alligator.